guys, so we're here with another video, a no excuses kind of video. So I did this on Facebook a long time ago, and then I also did it on my business, me and my husband's business website on a Gary Fitness. You could actually look on the website, but it's an old video. It would be easier if you went to a Gary Fitness YouTube channel, um, and you could look for this. But there's really no point, because I'm making it for you now for this channel. But basically, here's the deal. You hurt your ankle. You hurt something in your lower body. Your hip is bothering you. I trained a woman over at New York Sports Club who had a double hip replacement. I helped her lose 40 pounds. She never once stepped on an elliptical, treadmill, stair mill, none of that stuff. All she did was this arm machine, okay? So um, there is, I actually went to Big Five. I almost lost my mind. It was literally like the top piece of this that you could put on your desk and you could do, and it's an arm machine there. So if you can't move your legs, your knee is killing you, you, um, like for example, I have a client that had has problems with uh, one of her ankles, and from the holidays of her being on her feet all day, she couldn't like do any upper body, any lower body cardio, anything. Not even like being on the elliptical and in a fixed range of motion could she do. So, this video is something that I've done a while ago, but I refreshed her memory about it. So no matter what, basically, every cardio can get warm. So you have to make it entertaining. So with this one, pretty much what you'll do is you'll go forward. So I'll do with both, obviously both my arms, because there's two handles, but I can't because I'm holding the phone, okay? So you'll go forward, you'll go backward, you can do it double hand, you can do it single hand, and you make it interesting. Maybe you count to 20 going forward going backward, then you do one arm, then the other arm, and you can see that there's just like a seat. So it's all core involvement. You're literally just sitting on it like this, an upper body, okay, and you're just moving your upper body and it's all shoulders. I'm telling you right now, I promise you, your shoulders and arms will be burning, especially since I encourage cardio after training on an empty stomach, especially if you do it at the end of whether it's a total body workout or an upper body workout. Just now I did um, uh, back, shoulders, bodies, tries, a whole little circuit like I always do, crazy, whatever. I did cable rows. Right after that, I did stability ball chest press um, with 45 pound dumbbells. And then um, I did uh, front raise with two dumbbells. Those were with 20s. Then right after that, I did uh, body weight dips. Um, then right after that, I did dumbbell bicep curls with 40 pound dumbbells. Then I did standing tube bicep curls, just fast. Um, then I went upside down on a stability ball in an isometric pike position. So my body was like this, you could see. That's my feet and that's my hands. And I'm doing shoulder press with my feet on a stability ball. Um, and then jump rope, and I think that was it. And I went around the rotation uh, four times. So my arms are a little tired as it is, and now I'm gonna go do this machine a little bit. And then I'm probably gonna get on the stair mill, and then I'm done. So um, that is the upper body cardio, no excuses, suck it up, your legs hurt, boo hoo hoo. If you're sore, you really better suck it up and get on the treadmill. But if it's an injury or a surgery or something, like one of my clients, Dee Dee, she had meniscus surgery, she got hurt at work. That chick has been in my studio, comes in every day with a new brace on and comes over to the gym and does a into my gym with a soaking wet shirt. So um, you can kill cardio on just this machine. So, um, all right. So I hope you guys, I hope this helped. I hope this motivated somebody who is boohoo crying about, not legs because yes, crying about something that sore legs crying about something that's serious, that's not a boohoo. Believe me, I feel you. I'm not going to say boohoo to something that's an injury or, of course, I never, ever, ever said boohoo to my client with a double hip replacement um, or to my client with a bad ankle. I'm saying boohoo if you're sore, you better get on the treadmill, but if you're truly injured, then get on this machine. Boohoo to not doing anything. That's what I'm saying. Okay, no excuse. You could do something. My clients always make jokes with me that if I was in a full body cast, I would find a way to do neck cardio to burn calories until I started pouring sweat. So always find a way. Uh, you know, I love you. That's why I do this stuff. So two fingers. I'm going to go finish my workout. Mwah, mwah, mwah.